eight years ago after really shocking revelations of animal cruelty and just awful people doing awful things in the greyhound racing industry, we saw the New South Wales government act to ban it. But then just as quickly, we had a backflip. Uh, we had major parties joining together and reversing that ban and giving the greyhound racing industry a second chance. Um, well, eight years on and nothing has changed. And just in the last couple of months, we've seen more reports and revelations from inside the industry telling us that the rampant animal cruelty and terrible behaviour is continuing to this day. And here in New South Wales, we had in the last year the most fatalities um, in Australia with the most lethal tracks. We had 70, 70 greyhounds killed and over 4,000 um, were injured uh, on tracks. And this is really unacceptable. The community don't think it's acceptable. I don't think it's acceptable. And I think if you're watching this, you probably don't think it's acceptable either. Um, so now is our chance to really put the pressure on the government again and call on them to ban this horrible, toxic industry. Um, this weekend, we've got the Million Dollar Chase, which is the most, um, apparently the richest dog race in the world. Um, and it's being run at one of the most deadliest tracks in Australia, which is at Wentworth Park. Um, please join me on Friday evening. Uh, we'll be gathering at around 5 p.m. Um, and protesting against this race and this systemic barbaric cruelty in this industry. Now is our time to say no more second chances. This is an industry incapable of reform and to shut it down once and for all.